Well, the International Commission of Jurists, a Kenyan chapter, has criticized the planned dialogue between the executive and the judiciary, expressing reservations on discussions they claim may compromise the autonomy of the judiciary in administering justice and usurp the disciplinary mandate of the Judicial Service Commission. Now, in a statement, ICJ claims that the recent remarks by the deputy president against her lady justice, Esther Maina, raises serious concerns about the executive's intentions, and as such, the invitation to dialogue may not be in good faith. The jurists affirm that any concerns or complaints from the executive should be duly registered with the Judicial Service Commission rather than being aired in public rallies. According to ICJ, the recent events have cast a shadow over the commitment by the executive led by the president, who in 2022 pledged to uphold the independence of the judiciary and over the court orders. It is a statement, ICJ states, that it is deeply troubling that the promises to obey court orders have been replaced with utterances that court orders would be disobeyed if perceived to have been made by corrupt judges. Now, ICJ insists that any talks between the executive and the judiciary must abide by the principle of separation of powers, transparency, accountability, and the furtherance of our democracy and in respect to the rule of law.